I failed the 5k hike, I failed the 10k hike, I failed the, and then the 20k I failed, and then I re-hiked the 20k in the past. Twisted my ankle, my left ankle, to the side, and I jumped on it. Jump, 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 jump. Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Okay, we get through school of infantry, they sort of pushed me through it, even though I failed all the physical events. Alright, so this is a confusing one. Young fellow was in the Marine Corps, purposely wrecks his ankle to get out, something was going on upstairs. Then he goes on, check out his channel, and I'll link to the video. He goes on to fight for Ukraine, all sorts of different wars. I mean, kids all over the place. I'm trying to wrap my mind around what was going on while he spent time in the Marine Corps. It's confusing. I got through it, but it was so miserable. And when I would fall down just a little bit, they would just berate me and just call me. They, they hated me. I was really ostracized in my squad and in the company as a whole really ostracized and then it started to get worse like they started telling me we're gonna give you bad paperwork and they did they started giving me negative counselings which would get into page 11s which are really bad paperwork and then it would get into njp for failing hikes for failing patrols and i, I was like i i can't do it like i i am 115 pounds just give me a break give me a different job don't destroy me don't njp me give me a terrible paperwork because i'm small just give me a different job and then but they wouldn't listen they wouldn't listen. They told me. Now, is that a Marine Corps failure? He's a small guy, he said. He made it through boot camp. He signed up to be in the infantry. He gets there, and he's just too small, he says, right? So if the Marine Corps failed him, should they have rolled him into the supply or something? Did they think he'd just harden up? Apparently, it didn't, because the breaking of the ankle on purpose and the other shit, that's weird. And no, you can't do that. And again, people were really on edge at that point. No cigarettes, all that stuff. Very, very unleashing on me. So I looked them all in the eyes, and I had a thought. I thought I, I was going to do. I was gonna jump off the side of the cliff on my left and off myself. That was the plan. Wow. But I wanna look them in the face first and really like build up that anger, that you know, the courage to do it. And I had the courage, I was, I was fuming inside. But I couldn't say anything because you're in the Marines. And if you fume and you, you let it out, instant NGP. <sighs> so instead of doing that, I locked eyes with one of the guys in particular who was really brutal on me. And as I was looking at him, he finally saw that I, was, I, I had eye contact on him. And this was a, during a pause in a hike. We were hiking down, people were just sort of like stretched and stuff. And I twisted my ankle, my left ankle, to the side. And I jumped on it. Jump, 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 jump. And I tried to break it. The world feels like it's on the edge right now. Tensions over the upcoming election, economic instability, supply chain shortages, and health threats popping up left and right. With talk of a new pandemic on the horizon, if you're waiting for the medical industrial complex to protect you and your family, when things go sideways, you're making a huge mistake. You can take action now and be prepared. That's why I want to tell you about the wellness company's Contagion Emergency Kit. It's a lifesaver put together by real experts like Dr. Peter McCullough. Inside your medications like ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, budesonide, and even a nebulizer. These are the critical medications to treat respiratory illness and so much more, especially heading into flu season. Can you imagine when you or a loved one need life-saving medications? Are you really going to risk being told no? Don't let anyone play gatekeeper with your health. Just a few clicks and the kit is delivered right to your door. This is peace of mind for you and your family in uncertain times. I my kit and now you can get yours by heading to TWC Health backslash Jameson and use code Jameson to get $30 off and free shipping. That's TWC Health backslash Jameson, code Jameson for $30 off and free shipping. Don't wait for the next crisis to hit. Be ready, not reactive. Get your kit today and take control of your health. And I got very close. Not the bone, but it is permanently damaged. I'll show you a picture right now. Wow. I was now self-harming. That was the lowest point of my- I'm old, I get it, but you did something like- I knew a guy who got sunburned really bad. He was the beach, Panama City. I remember he went in, had to get steroids, and they go, son, you destruction of government property, they can burn you. I could have been bullshit, but this right here- I'm not going to burn you because clearly there's something going on upstairs. It's just too much for him. But it's confusing because he goes later on to fight in all sorts of wars. Check out his channel. He's all over. Very popular man. My Marine Corps time. I self-armed. I did that because wow. people were not listening. They didn't understand. And that's how I felt. 19 years old. About 20 at that point. Stuff like that. It was later on in the Marines. And somebody had to go and uh, take, my, take my pack and I had to just go with my... Oh, they took my rifle as well, obviously. Can't self-arm with that. And then I uh, walked down with them, got to the end, and the uh, next couple of days, we finished off training, and then we, uh, we drove off back to our base. That was the lowest point in my time, obviously. Yeah. So there it is, you know, like, uh, life isn't always easy. And after I got back is when I, I finally broke the news to my leadership, like, I am going to pursue any way to get out of the Marine Corps now. Like, I, I cannot stand it. I can't stand it. I can't do it. You guys don't deserve me. I am not able to f fit in. Uh, people hate me, and I, I need to get out. A lot of people like me. 
He said, people hate him, a lot of people like him. Part of that hazing, though, you hope the guy kind of gets past it, right? That's how I always found hazing. Like, people jack with you. I never had this kind of thing. I could always make the hum times. I, I didn't have these problems. So what happened here is that the, the Keeney grew up, because he goes on to, again, fight a bunch of wars. Boy, boy, oh boy. You know, I had friends. Yeah, I had friends, but there's a lot of people, especially my leadership, I, they just... They ignored my pain. They ignored my pain too long. I, I can deal with it. So I, I got an ad step, an administrative separation. Wow. And that means that it's an, it's an honorable one. It's under honorable conditions, so it's honorable. But it means that there's a reason that you got out, okay? You didn't finish your four years, it, there's a reason. I decided to do that instead of a medical discharge, like I was thinking about with the hearing aid, because they would have had me stay in the four years. This happened to a couple of my friends, including uh, one of them who would later on have some really hard times after the Marine Corps, because of his experience in the Marine Corps, they kept them in for three years with a broken back, just standing guard duty, not getting deployed. He did sign a contract, he's talking about his buddy here. They didn't med board him, they kept him around to do scud work. I mean, here's what I might take. I'm not talking about this kid, but you get hurt in the military. They're not going to med board you. It's going to take two years. It's a learning lesson, right? You'll learn, I hate the Marine Corps. Don't want that ever again. Or, hey, time to grow up. Or, hey, I need, in this case, sounds like he needs some mental health counseling. Like some help, right? He's going to toss himself off a cliff. He jumps on a twisted ankle. He said they had to take away his firearm. I'm thinking they took it away because he was hurt. Wow. <laughs> Sad story of his injuries and they just did not want to make him leave and it was miserable for him. It's not what he wanted to do. You can't, you can't just keep people because of contract. You gotta, you gotta let them be free. You gotta let them like just have a little bit of uh, autonomy, especially when it comes to their health. These are young dudes. I'm not the same person I was when I joined the Marines that I am today. I'm 26 years old now. Been through Ukraine, been through Iraq, been through Syria. I've been through all this stuff on my own. I didn't need the Marine Corps for that and I was successful. The friends I made there, the training that I was able to conduct for other people, the operations I did, I, I did successfully. I did, you know, and I, the Marine Corps helped me with that, but it, it was not the, the complete reason. It's because I am who I am. After the Marine Corps, I went to the gym like crazy. I put on a lot of weight. I, I knew what I needed to go and train for. I needed to train lower body especially, but I needed to give myself a fucking break. And that's what I gave myself. I started working at Apple and- Wait a second. So after the Marine Corps, he decides he needs to train. Now he's a young guy. I get it. And he couldn't make the humps ever. He said that, not me. So you think he'd go, okay, I need to start working on my lower body. Get in shape, not try to off yourself. Again, not dunking on the kid. It seems like he's done well. He's got a good attitude. You know, that's what I see here. It's very popular. 1.2 million subscribers. There's a lot of stuff on his time in Ukraine from what I can see. It's confusing. Is the Marine Corps, is it their fault here? Should they just said, hey, you're not hung. You're not making it here. You got a four-year hitch with us. Supply, there you go. Another MOS. They try to jam a square peg into a round hole. Because you see all sorts of tiny dudes that can hump the gear. I mean, you see a lot. I mean, everybody's seen that, right? He's tiny, of course, but you think maybe they would get him over the hump? Is I don't know what's going on here. And the early days of my channel were dark. My Marine Corps acquaintances found out about my YouTube. My YouTube, I was mostly talking about like airsoft stuff because that was my hobby back in the day, as well as my experience in the Marines. And you gotta remember, it was kind of like a frat. It was a posse of dudes when you're in a platoon. And I dealt with that after I got out and they found out that I had a YouTube. They started to berate me and say, you're not, you're not a true Marine. You didn't complete your four years. And if, if you're a Marine, if you complete boot camp, you're a Marine. And you get your Eagle Globe and Anchor, you are a Marine. You are officially a Marine. I did two years, got out early because I, I couldn't hack it. And I got injured and I got a lot of stuff, you know? And I'm, even after the Marine Corps, I started to get disability paperwork done. And I found out I have a pretty bad traumatic brain injury from some physical training we were doing in the Marines where now when I sleep, and I sleep wrong, if, I, if my head's a little bit too far back, I have intense vertigo, intense nightmares, and intense crazy, crazy shit for the rest of the day, headaches, migraines. The question is there, I'm gonna nitpick here. So if you got TBIs and you're gonna get disability, but you go fight in Ukraine, Syria, all those places, you're still capable of doing a job that the Marine Corps trained you for. That could be confusing, right? So if I'm a VA guy and I'm like, okay, you got TPIs, we see it's in your records and your brain scans, but you're all fighting all these wars. Uh, how does that work exactly? You vets, chime in. It's interesting. And this happens a couple times a month. It happened last time four days ago. Really bad. And uh, this, this happens and it gives me memory loss. There's a lot of things. And this is all stuff I found out after the Marine Corps. And I think a lot of Marines are finding this stuff out now as they don't get checked for possible injuries. And they're like, wow, okay. And I talked about that on my channel. 
I talked about like, hey, this is this is my scenario. This is from my POV, what I what I'm seeing. I'm trying to be completely honest, which is why I'm giving you guys this video, you know? But yeah, they they completely rejected me from the community. They claim that they can tell me if I'm a Marine or not, and I'm not a Marine, and you know, I'm this and that, and I understand a little bit of it. My videos were they were very self-centered. Uh, I did not see their perspective at all, but them still being in the Marine Corps, they still had that mindset and it was, it was bad. And it got to the point where it took a really heavy time. Oh, young fella, the veteran community is toxic as fuck. I'm not on social media personally. Did this channel on a goof, retired, just start fucking around and people like come at your heart. I'm not claiming I'm kicking indoors or jumping into Fallujah. Kind of just trolling and trying to make light of shit. So the veteran community is not a community. It's a bunch of dudes that are limp dicks that are jealous. Not all of them, of course, there's nice dudes. But a shit ton of them are pissed off that you're doing well. He's doing well on YouTube. People like the guy. So you got all these scumbags who didn't do anything by their own choice that are weak and they're pissed at him, right? And that's the fascinating part about the veteran community. You can't be a dude you know did three pumps in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's like, oh, you do three pumps, I do ten pumps. Doesn't that shit matter? It seems like this guy's helping people. Again, Ukraine, check his channel out, links below to this video. I I'm trying to wrap my mind around it, because it seems like he's a good dude here. But what happened between, like, 19 and when he goes over to Ukraine and fights all these wars, he just was not, there's something wrong. And I'll tell you, there's, you go to your platoon, you get wrapped up, you get the shit beat out of you. It's part of life, right? But you kind of know that. I thought, I mean, if you, as an old guy, playing sports, doing that stuff, I mean, you get guys beat the shit out of you. And maybe it just was a break point for him where he goes, I need to get my shit together.